Hey all, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Heather. Hello. Um, I just, before I do my little quick update thing, because I'm just popping on real quick, um, I do want to let you know, anybody who's interested in watching my videos, seeing denture, autoimmune, all that stuff, or anything you guys ask for, and you want to don't want to miss my giveaways and my pop-up giveaways, you want to click that subscribe button. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss it, because when I hit my 200th video, which is very soon, even after only being on here for less than three months, I've done over 150-something videos. And um, when I hit 200 subscribers, which will be soon, I'll be doing an also a pop-up giveaway. So you guys don't want to miss that. Um, so as I'm getting started, oh, don't forget to click the tiny little bell button, guys. I even forget to say that. Hit the tiny little bell button and hit all, because if you don't, you will not get my notifications. You will have to search me and you will miss everything unless you go digging for it yourself. It's a big pain in the butt. And we all get carried away in our stuff, so we don't know automatically to go look and check on things. And normally I do a video about every other day and that's on average. Um, so I'm going to get started. I want to let you guys know Wednesday on the 17th, um, I have surgery due to melanoma issues and because of my autoimmune weakened my immune system. So I have to do surgery and it's going to be some stuff on my back and on my chest that they're going to have to remove. Um, so due to recovery, I will not, probably not be on doing support group stuff for a couple days. Probably not till Saturday. I don't know how it's going to go, but I will pop on um, after the day I get it done. And I will let you guys know how surgery went and how I'm feeling and, you know, do all that. I might just do, you know, vlogging for those couple of days instead of, you know, hands-on reviews and stuff. Okay, so I wanted to let you guys know it finally came in. Ah, the Holy Grail. Okay, I've never used this ever. I had no reason to because I've always used adhesive or I've done my own soft relines and reline it as you guys see many of my videos that I have showed you. So many people have asked me to do this. Now, I want to let you know, since I did my soft reline, my dentures are pretty good. Like I only put a, a tiny bit of adhesive up in there just so to be safe. Like if I'm going to chew on that burger or that corn on the cob or ribs that I prefer, very much prefer to make sure they stay in my face. So tomorrow, um, I don't know how this is going to go because I know cushion grip works differently for everyone. Some people swear by it and will never use adhesive. And some people are like, uh, -huh, it sucked, but I do know how to use it. I've seen so many people use it. Um, my dentists have talked about it. So, I mean, I know very much how to use it and how to mold it and, you know, work with you. So I'm gonna give it a shot. What do I got to lose? Right? So what I make this thing for to give you guys my input on it. So da -da -da, I picked it up. Well, I ordered it a couple of weeks ago and Amazon delivered it. I originally wasn't going to do it because delivery is very, very slow right now. But I ordered this two weeks ago and then I ordered some of my other stuff like three days ago and they packaged them together, which was weird because it was three separate orders, but um, whatever. But I did want to let you guys know that it is zinc free. Polygrip, oh, uh, polygrip. Why do I keep saying polygrip? Probably it's got grip in it. Cushion grip is completely zinc free. And, you know, it says it can last up to four days. I do know people that it lasts longer. Um, but it does say, like I'm reading it, it says it won't wash off in water, which is a plus. Because that's what adhesive does. You know, a lot of people say, how do you get adhesive off? Just stick it in water. If you have denture on your adhesive, just literally put it in water and walk away. It dissolves. So don't be scrubbing out your denture because there's no necessarily reason to do that. Um, as far as your face goes, instead of swishing and then it gets slimy and it's gooey and all that, just take a dry paper towel and it just pops right off. It's what I do every night. It takes me two minutes to take my use of off. Not a big deal. But, um, I mean, I have many videos of showing you that guys that too. So if you want to look it up, go to my videos. Um, you can also do most recent, but if you just scroll down and, um, you'll see all my videos, everything, literally everything. You'll also see my June giveaway. So remember, if you comment on any of my videos, any of my videos, you're automatically entered into June's giveaway and it will be announced on 4th of July um, to celebrate. So, um, let me see. It says it won't, even after repeated cleaning, cushion grip denture adhesive remains soft and pliable. That's good. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. People can say shit all they want, guys. Don't mean it's actually going to happen. We've all seen me and my reviews. There's some re reviews that just are so bad. It's so bad. Please, please don't get poly grip, seal strip things. Don't do it. I, unless you, I'm not kidding, wallpaper the crap out of your denture and then maybe add more adhesive besides those strips on there. Just, just don't get them. Don't know if you have them. Don't even bother. Um, no joke, guys. It's horrible. Um, it says, okay, it's pretty much saying that it ain't going to come off no matter what. It's not going to do any of that. 
Um, adhesive is, um, the cushion grip adhesive is safe for all plastic and porcelain plates, which is good because not all dentures like reline it. Um, it's not even good for the, um, what are they called? There's a certain denture. I forgot the name of it now because Jordan blank, but that doesn't work for it. Now the whole thing is, um, with this, I don't really think it's an adhesive because adhesive is like poly grip and fix it at, and, you know, all those and like secure. This, I really think it's like a really short term soft reline because you're literally taking like this jelly putty stuff and you're forming it into your entire mouth. So I'm just saying guys, I don't think it's an adhesive. They can call it an adhesive all they want because it's not long enough to be a soft reline. But to me, it's a very temporary, very temporary soft reline because if it lasts for a few days, please. But anyway, tomorrow, expect that one. I will upload it. Um, I'm going to add it with my other ones. I'm not going to do like, say, in the morning, I'm just going to show me put it in. No, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to add, you know, how I am through the day with it, how it is taking it out, if it's still good when it comes out the first day, or is it just like a one day, one hit wonder type thing? I'll let you know. So I'll drop that video tomorrow night. Hopefully I remember. But I will remind myself, I will put it right on my counter so I remember to do it. Because when you get caught up in your stuff, guys, you all know that. That you are you have a routine. Everybody has a routine that sometimes you don't pay attention. But um, just letting you guys know those quick updates. So on the 17th, please remember that um, I will let you guys know an update how my surgery went and how things went. Hopefully it goes good. I'm not really all that nervous. I'm normally a hot mess. And I've had many, med I, have, I have a lot of medical issues. But, you know, you kind of get used to the bad. And that will be a whole other video. Because, you know, a lot of people say, how do you handle it? One day at a time. Like, one day at a time. And talking to you guys is like venting. And I believe, like, doing this channel was support group for everybody. I mean, I don't like people that come on here and they're nasty and they boss people around and they think they know what they're doing. And they do whatever. That's not what this is about. This is about being positive, caring, and being there for each other. That's why I made this channel. So... I will no longer be taking that from people and they will be taken off or they will be just muted. So um, remember to be kind and caring to people because we that go through this, whether it's dentures, autoimmune, whatever, people go through their struggles, you know, and you, you genuinely have to be a caring person because you want to treat people the way you would want to be treated. I mean, would you want to be bossed around and treated like crap and, de and demanded and do all this? No, you wouldn't. Nobody would. So remember to be kind to each other. If things work for you, help other people out. That's what we're here for. That's what this whole Dedra community is here for is to help people that are new or even like, you know, two years in or even veterans because there's new things you can learn every day. Nobody knows everything. Nobody will know everything. But just living, letting you guys know a heads up. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe, guys, please. Um, be careful, you know. Do what you got to do to take care of your mind as well, because that's just as important as your physical. I hope you guys have a happy denture day. Have a good day. God bless. Later all.